Whenever I meet children who like reading my books, they always ask me heaps of questions. And I know my publishers get lots of questions too on the website. So I thought it would be a good idea if I answered the most frequently asked questions now, just for you. I don't think any book in particular inspired me to be an author. I loved reading. I knew right from when I was about six that I wanted to write books myself. I'm not quite sure who or what inspires me to write. I just know that it's the first thing I think about right from the moment I wake up and it's generally the last thing I think about as I go to sleep. I'm not quite sure where I get the subject matter from for my stories. I don't really use real people's lives. I just like to make things up. But maybe if I meet a child and there's just some little thing about them that sticks in my mind, maybe a certain type of glasses they might be wearing, a funny joke they tell me, that might stay inside my head. And then sometimes months later, even years later, out it will come and it will be part of a story. I can never make up my mind which my favourite book is. Um, probably it's The Illustrated Mum. I know it's a very sad story, but I did get very involved when I wrote it, and I'm particularly fond of Dolphin, who's meant to have written the story. I've got lots of favourite characters. I have to say Tracy Beaker is one of my favourites. I think she would beat me up if I didn't choose her. I think my favourite boy character has to be Biscuits because he's so kind and he's so cheery and he's funny. Um, my favourite adult character is quite definitely Auntie Barbara in Lola Rose. I think she's a sweetheart. I do write lots of stories where the mums and dads have split up. I think that's possibly because, sadly nowadays, this does often happen. And also, it's quite interesting to write stories about children going through quite sad times and to show how they can come through things and work things out for themselves. Lots of boys keep saying, why don't you write about us? I have written Cliffhanger and Buried Alive, which have boys as the main characters. Um, maybe I'll have another go sometime. Wait and see. I have written five crime novels for adults, but they're out of print now. I much prefer writing for children and teenagers. I have had so many girls wanting another story about Ellie Magda and Nadine. Um, I'm not sure, it's a while since I wrote the first four, but you never know. If an idea crops up in my head, I'll have a go. I don't think I ever base my characters on real people, apart from My Secret Diary and Jackie Daydream, because obviously they're stories about me but all the other characters in my books, they're all made up. I've just finished writing a long story, a Victorian story called Hetty Feather. I got very involved writing the book. I loved writing it. I do hope you like reading it. It should be out this October. I've written four stories about Tracy Beaker now. Um, that might be enough to be going on with, but I could get curious and want to know what happens next to Tracy, or even what Tracy was like when she was, say, six, seven, eight. Um, Tracy Beaker is the sort of girl she's forever cropping up in my mind, so there could certainly be another story about Tracy sometime. It generally takes about six months to write a book. If it's a long book, it might take longer than that. I like to write books as much as I can, but sometimes if I've just finished writing a book and then I've got to start a new one straight away, I sometimes think wistfully, I'd like a bit of a holiday. 
but I do also like the idea that there are two books out there every year for you to read. I've been writing all my life. I mean, I was scribbling very small stories when I was six or seven. Um, when I was nine, I declared I was writing a novel. I only wrote about 20 sides, but it still seemed quite a lot to me. I had my first short story published when I was 17. I had to wait till I was in my 20s, though, before I actually got a novel published. I've got lots of hobbies. I love reading. I like shopping. I like going swimming. I like going around art galleries. I live near several enormous parks. I love going for walks. There are all sorts of things I love to do. I did used to have a lovely cat, Whiskey. Sadly, she died last year. Um, haven't quite got round to getting a new kitten. And sometimes I think about having a little dog. The difficulty is I travel round all over the place. I'm not sure who would look after them then, but you never know. I'm determined to have a pet again soon. I like lemurs very much. I think they're very attractive creatures. There's a wonderful zoo called Drusillas in Alfriston in Sussex. And I love to go there because they have a big lemur enclosure where the lemurs can leap around. The weird thing is though, they're all boys, but they don't seem to mind. They all get on very well together. And I've seen the lemurs not only swinging through the trees, but when they're tired, they all cuddle up together with their tails around each other. They look very cute. I feel very pleased and proud that lots of children like reading my books. Um, let's hope they always do. It's great that you're writing a story. It's very encouraging that so many children want to be writers. Generally, though, you have to wait till you're grown up before you have a chance of getting anything published. I hope to get to lots and lots of different towns all over the country. I do try, each time a new book comes out, to visit as many bookshops as possible. Um, you'll just have to be patient and wait and see when I can actually come to a town near you. I try very hard to write back to anybody who writes me a letter. However, it isn't always possible because I do get hundreds each week. I also look at every single email posted on the website. I can't reply individually to everybody, but each month I look through all of them and I always pick at least one and reply properly to that.